The latest is here, has arrived, and you know, everybody is trying to play down here, really. Uh, as journalists, we couldn't stay uh, at the airport, no picture is allowed, really, and uh, only maybe a, a dozen personalities could have access to the arrival hall. Uh, obviously, you know, his family, obviously, his ex colleagues, and also uh, Simone Bagbo, you know, the ex wife of Laurent Bagbo, uh, was also there to, to welcome Charles Blegoudet. Uh, Charles Blegoudet himself actually asked his followers not to be at the airport, where there is actually quite a lot of security, a lot of uh, 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 agents from the police that, that, that were there to avoid uh, crowds. And he asked them to be uh, in Yupougon, where he used to talk to them, where he used to address them uh, in the old days uh, around 2, 3 p.m. this afternoon. Uh, so I must say that here there's quite a lot of mixed feelings about his return. Of course, his followers are very excited. You know, it's been almost like 10 years that he's been out of the country. And if he's been acquitted, uh, well, he's even more popular than he used to be. You know, he was really, he was the, the one that they, they nicknamed him the general, the general of the street. He was a, an extremely popular uh, young person, a uh, young politician, you know, for, for, for one side of Ivory Coast, uh, for all the followers, the, the supporters of Laurent Gbagbo. But there's also the other side. And I must say that there's also a little bit of resentment here on the, on the side of the victims of this crisis. And they, you know, he was an ultra nationalist leader, and they don't know if he has really changed. He does say that he has changed. He does say that he doesn't want to go straight into politics, uh, that he is the man of reconciliation today. But well, that's just actually remained to be seen.